antiplatelets pharmacology. So in this lecture, we will talk about the mechanism of action of silostazole and dipyridamol. Before we go uh, to study the mechanism of action, let us know a little bit that how the platelets aggregate generally. If we understand that how the platelets aggregate, then it will be easy for us to understand the mechanism of action of these two medications. You know, ADP, thromboxin A2 and 5-hydroxytryptamine, uh, these are called as platelet aggregating factors means they are helping in the aggregation of the platelet and uh, we don't need platelets aggregation inside the blood vessel so what we do we give these medications in order to inhibit the platelet aggregation well how the platelet aggregation actually happens you know one of these aggregation factors adp here we have two platelets this is one platelet and this is another platelet so what happens this adp it will come and will bind with the receptor of this platelet. It will activate this platelet. Then this platelet will act or will aggregate on this next platelet. Like this, the platelet aggregation will happen. So how this uh, activation happens? When ADP binds to the receptor of this platelet, which is actually GI coupled receptor, this receptor will become activated. Now understand and keep in mind this is GI coupled receptor. This will forward the signal to the adenylate cyclase or adenylyl cyclase. Adenylate, adenylyl, same terms. So then its job is to activate or convert ADP to cyclic AMP. Got? As it is GI, so what will happen? ATP conversion into cyclic AMP will be reduced. Okay? Due to this reduction, what will happen? Protein kinase A, its activation will be also reduced. So now this protein kinase A, what is the job of protein kinase A? Its job is to add the inorganic phosphate to this VASP. When the VASP is phosphorylated, means when phosphate is added into VASP, it will become inactive. Consider what now? Due to decreased activation of protein kinase A, what will happen? This phosphorylation of the VASP will be reduced, due to which the VASP will remain active. Now the function of the VASP is to Activate a receptor noun is GP two B three A. When this receptor is activated by the VASP, what will happen? Now, when this GP two B three A receptor is stimulated, it will in turn attach with the fibrinogen, and then that fibrinogen will attach with another receptor of the same kind present on the another platelet like this the two platelets will aggregate together so what we need now we need that we do not want to do the aggregation we want to stop the aggregation in order to decrease the aggregation we will give silostazole dipyridamol now what is the mechanism of action of these two medication these medications they will target the enzyme phosphodiesterase and these are known as phosphodiesterase inhibitors so they will inhibit the phosphodiesterase what is the normal function of uh, phosphodiesterase phosphodiesterase is actually breaking the cyclic amp now if it is breaking the cyclic amp what will happen protein kinase a it will be less activated due to which less phosphorylation of vasp will occur and the vasp again it will become active when it is less phosphorylated so what we need is that we want that cyclic amp production must be increased then atp protein kinase a its activity must be increased and if its activity is increased then VASP will be phosphorylated which will make the VASP inactive if the VASP is inactive then the VASP will not send a signal to activate this GP2B3A receptor when this receptor is not activated then it is not going to attach by mean fibrinogen to another platelet means platelet aggregation will be somehow decreased so when silostazole and dipyridamol when we give these medications these will inhibit the phosphodiesterase so when the phosphodiesterase is inhibited Cyclic AMP production will be increased. Protein kinase A production will be increased. And you know the job? It is supposed to add the phosphate into VASP. When the phosphate is added into VASP, it will cause the inactivation of the VASP. And what will happen next? These all steps vanished. So then, there is no any VASP available to activate receptor here. So when the receptor is not activated, what's going to happen? no aggregation with the another platelet so this is how our uh, solostazole and dipyridamol these are doing the job to reduce the aggregation of the platelets hope so you got if still you have any kind of question regarding the topic you can drop that in the comment box we'll come for the answers very soon thank you for watching